here with Carly night before I leave for my trip trying to sort out all of my life into a couple suitcases should be fun <laughs> Ready for load shedding? Turn in, <laughs> turn in the lights off so you don't turn on in the middle of the night. <laughs> so pretty much, there's scheduled localized blackouts in the Cape Town, usually a few times a day in two-hour chunks, and we use an app to get the schedule for our location. <laughs> Beautiful candle layout by Dasha. <laughs> Some tea. Our first morning in Cape Town, we went to the Pipe Track Trail with Dasha before she started work. I got some beautiful views of Lion's Head, Table Mountain, and the Twelve Apostles. Each of the mountain jets are the Twelve Apostles. And you can actually see up there, that's the cable car to the top of Table oh. It's gonna be some big swells this week. So don't know how much surfing I'll get in, but hopefully a little bit. And uh, yeah, apparently it's low to mid tide is the most tame time. So we'll try to aim for that around midday. Carla's got her eight foot long board. And now we're going to see her surf. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Round two, die. sir. Don't say that. Just, no, I won't die. I'll be fine. She's gonna be brave and courageous <laughs> and have fun. Yeah. And safe. And safe. I will be safe. <laughs> I really lucked out with the surfing conditions while we were in Musenberg. Super friendly, waist high waves, it was great. The water was a bit cold, but my five mil wetsuit was perfect. And I struggled a bit with a low volume board during my second session, but got a higher volume nine foot after that, and it was perfect. We got our rope, yeah, 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 and my helmet, and we're gonna climb, and it's gonna be a fun time. Had a it's little adventure crazy. down to downtown Cape Town for a row. Carola did a great job driving <laughs> in the downtown bustle and hustle. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to get our parking and we waited a long time. Oh, yeah. um, so we parked and we see the parking attendant and she like helped us park. And then we like okay, let's like, get on all our stuff before we get out of the car and like yeah. you know yeah. want to make sure we're safety first everything was ready and <laughs> we did that but then she walked away and then she helped a bunch of other people and she was so far away and we didn't know what was we were waiting for so long and we didn't know what to do yeah so then eventually she finally came we back. got we got a car her. and then we got her and then we got our rope yeah. and the guys were super nice they gave us a discount, gave a discount. yeah because only renting for two days that we're gonna have it for four and also we're only renting roads and the rest of the gear so they're super nice super helpful and we're gonna have a good climb on our way to the crag woohoo we're up here at the top of the climb pretty darn beautiful 
the ocean. We've got Delia down there. Hi. Great belay from Delia. Pretty nice. Got Delia here cleaning up our rope. Carla just finished cleaning our last climb. We did three climbs today and we both decided we love sandstone. <laughs> Sandstone's the best. It's way more like climbing in the gym and I loved it. That last climb was super good. Yeah, Delia crushed it. We both led we all the routes, which was awesome. Yeah. Which I usually don't do. <laughs> we climbed, we climbed Mantra, Chicks Dig It Lank, and Flakes. And Flakes was recommended to us by the people that rented our rope. And yes. they definitely did not disappoint. No, yeah, that was the best climb of the day for sure. 5'8", <laughs> I don't know what it was, 14? Is that their rating? 14, two 13s and a 14, which converts to... 5'7s and a 5'8". Yeah, 5'7s and a 5'8". Yeah, super fun. Thanks, Delia, for being a great climb buddy. Thank you, Carla, for liking climbing <laughs> and getting trained. So in Cape Town, muggings and safety is a big problem in the surrounding national parks, and it's strongly recommended to only hike and climb in groups of at least four. And it was just Delia and I who went climbing, and we were completely alone at the crag, which made us feel really uncomfortable and, and nervous. At one point, I was belaying Delia, and I saw some movement in the bushes down the trail, and I could tell that it was a person. My heart just like leapt and I got so nervous. And it ends up it was just other climbers, but Deal and I decided not to go climbing again unless we could find other people to go with. Um, but it was still a lot of fun. Here we are at Silver Mine. Very windy day. But this is the dam. Damn, that's a dam. <laughs> Hike. <laughs> we went on a very windy hike in Silvermine National Park and the views were very lovely. We felt like we were going to get blown over the whole time. My favorite moment though was when we were trying to pretend that there was a fourth person in our group for safety purposes I mentioned earlier and Delia kept telling imaginary George to get out of the bushes. <laughs> it was a great time. What do we think of the view friends? What is this? The water looks so But like not like but like even fluffier. <laughs> so we just brought a whole pot of soup over to Dasha's because our apartment's out of power. So not just load shedding, so it was load shedding and then load shedding stopped. We made dinner and we were making dinner and then all of a sudden power went out again. <laughs> so Dasha graciously no. let us stay at her place because 
I'm working, Carola's working, yeah. but also <laughs> Dasha goes into load shedding in an hour. Oh. So this is uh, what you South Africans call hectic. <laughs> <laughs> On our way to an early morning hike before Dasha starts work. Shit, sick. That shit, sick. That shit, sick. <laughs>